weather is a curious thing here on this tiny island of ours. And of course, on the even more minuscule islands that surround our small home. Looking at a map, the placement of many of these offshore rocks remind me of the careless flick of water drops on a page. The first time we had hoped to go to Jersey, the weather forecast was terrible, so we opted to return to it once the bulk of the bear away was done. What greeted us, however, was much of the same, really. Winds howled, rain gently but incredibly persisted, rolling over and into us. The clouds hung low, like dark pregnant whales resting after the deep Atlantic waters. Jersey Island is six and a half kilometers long and one and a half kilometers wide. It is separated from the mainland by a fast flowing and dangerous waterway known as Jersey Sound, which while we were there buffeted us with the muffled cries of seagulls and whipped away voices as fast as you could hear them. Currently, what makes this island so unique is the fact that it is accessible by Ireland's only cable car. Originally opened in 1969, the Jersey Island cable car remains, to this day, the most used means of transport across to the island. Even more unusual, it is the only cable car that traverses open seawater in all of Europe. While we travelled across, door held closed with a small hook, we rocked as the weather assailed the outside of the cab. Looking into the corner, I noticed a small bottle of holy water and an extract from a Bible. This island has a fascinating history, with connections to the O'Sullivan Bear family, whose history has become so famous that it inspired the creation of a 500 km walking route across Ireland. Their castle, that once stood on this island in 1602, was destroyed in the Nine Years' War with the British. While we were there, we wandered almost blindly, silhouettes starting to disappear mere feet away from you. Something we've come to believe is that weather in Ireland seems to be as much a part of the landscape as a force that is shaping it. Boots squelching, socks soaking, rain running off your hood and straight down your face. It's not always a joy, but it certainly builds character. And sometimes, it just feels like the right way to experience that place. You'll never know that amazing feeling of relief and the breath stolen from your chest. That's when the clouds part after a lifetime of rain and everything in front of you just glows. We didn't see much of Jersey Island, but we went there. We wandered in the windswept silence, felt the peace and power that lives out here beside the Atlantic, and then we left it. Okay, so this is the cable car, the famous Jersey cable car. Um, we're heading back from our quick tour around the island. 
not that we could see very much, um, but it was still kind of amazing. And this cable car itself is like incredibly famous because um, this year, actually like, this year it's 50 years old. Um, it's been here for a very long time, but it was actually built 10 years before the island itself got uh, electricity. So it's, um, yeah, it's kind of a feat. You can like, <laughs> the door, this is a door handle and like a little, <laughs> a little latch that you flick over. And if you stare at the floorboards, you can see through and see the sea below. Um, it's it's an experience. It's really cool. Um, yeah, that's it. That's our Jersey adventure. <laughs>